In this video, I'm going to tell you about three neighborhoods in north central San Antonio and three neighborhoods located in the far north central side of San Antonio. And we're getting after it right now. I'm in with the Aguillon International Group at Keller Williams in San Antonio. And if this is your first time to the channel and you want to know everything there is to know about working here, living here, playing here, sleeping, and just straight chilling, be sure and subscribe to the channel. Remember, click the little bell so you're notified every time I drop a new video. And honestly, we get so many calls from people relocating here, moving to San Antonio. We absolutely love it. So if you're even thinking about moving to San Antonio or anywhere in the area, Give us a call, shoot us a text, send us an email, whatever is easiest for you. Literally days, nights, weekends, we got your back when moving to San Antonio. What's up YouTube family? Let's jump right into it. So neighborhood number one is Elm Creek. This was one of the first gated communities in San Antonio and it's home to lots of really big estates. So if you need some space, but you don't wanna be out in the country, you have to take a cruise through Elm Creek. You can't just get in there if you don't know anybody call me, shoot me a text, send me an email because it's a gated community with a guard. So you got to show up with some ID ready to go. The Elm Creek has tons of architecture. In fact, the other day we were showing one of our clients a home that had a German mix and a Spanish mix. And you can check it out right here as I'm talking. Uh, it had a really cool pool. It, it was like a U shape and it really just featured the pool as kind of the heart of the home. Um, like I said, you got lots of privacy here. So if that's something that's important to you, you can walk into this space and you can just tell with the big mature trees, you're gonna have some privacy there. If you have more than two cars, you're gonna wanna check this neighborhood out because they've got really long driveways and just bigger estates, like I mentioned. So Elm Creek is one of those neighborhoods where you can find a home around a million bucks. Um, you might still be able to find something a little less than that. If this is in your budget, come check it out. Neighborhood number two, Hunter's Creek. It's actually really close by and um, in proximity to Elm Creek. One thing that I like about Hunter's Creek is you got a really great neighborhood. You still got lots of mature trees and some privacy when you step out into your backyards because these homes are spaced out uh, more than what you would see in a newer community. The difference between Elm Creek and Hunter's Creek is gonna be price and it's an open neighborhood. So there's no gates. You can just go in and out and um, really cool houses too. So lots of character up in, um, in Hunter's Creek. Neighborhood number three. Chavano Park. So I got to tell you guys, when I first moved to San Antonio from the country, I was super impressed with how big some of these homes are because where I'm from, the houses are pretty small. In fact, there's only one side of town that's got a couple of houses that are really cool. I mean, I'm talking like mansion style homes. So Chavano Park has lots of homes that are just massive. I mean, you can get over five, 6,000 square feet there. One of the things I really like about Chavano Park as well it's kind of like Elm Creek in a sense that if you're looking for privacy, you're gonna find it in Chavano Park. The price range is gonna be around a million bucks. You might be able to find something in the sevens. It just depends. So unlike Elm Creek, Chavano Park is an open community. And it's actually not a part of San Antonio. It's its own municipality. So drive through it, check it out. It's really close to the airport, great location. And like the first two neighborhoods I mentioned, you're gonna be in that north central side of San Antonio. So if that location is important to you, I think you're gonna like that neighborhood. So those three neighborhoods are in North Central and some of the attractions that you might wanna know about, maybe things you don't know about in San Antonio is you're gonna be close to parks like Phil Harderberger Park. This is just one park of many in San Antonio. I went the other day just to go, you know, spend some time outside and it's really nice when you go during the week or on the weekend, a great place to take your kids, take your dog. Phil Harderberger Park has just a massive space where you can go and sprawl out, throw the football, kick a soccer ball, there's a playground for the kids, a dog park for your dog, um, lots of picnic tables so you can go out there and just enjoy time in San Antonio. We've got such great weather here. Phil, Har Phil Harderberger Park really is just a great space to enjoy your city is what's known as the Allen Town Center. Here's where you can get your shopping in. HEB is in the area. I like HEB because they always have fresh produce. And if you're looking for something like a quick bite to eat, they've got restaurants there. If you wanna get your nails done, there's a place for that too. There's just so many things to do in Allen Town Center. I mean, if you live in North Central, you don't really have to drive far to get anywhere. So if that sounds like something that you would like, bring your family here, come take a trip, get an Airbnb, and just experience what it's like to live in the North Central side of San Antonio. About the North Central side is the Colonnade. 
It's home to places like Sushi Zushi, Wasabi. Those are two of my favorite sushi places. So if that's something that you really enjoy like me and my wife, you have to go check it out. Tell them Jaime sent you and ask for the Cosimo Row. I think that's how you say it, Cosimo Row, but that's pretty good stuff too. Cool little story about the Colonnade. When I first moved to San Antonio 11 years ago, my first real estate brokerage was there. I worked at the small mom and pop shop. It's had that, you know, hometown boutique style and it was actually located at the Colonnade. So Colonnade kind of has a soft spot for me in my heart. Let's keep it moving. So now let's talk about the far north central. It's a little further north than north central, hence far north central. Three neighborhoods you have to know about if you're considering moving to the far north central. Let's talk about Kinder Ranch. It's a newer development. It's going to be massive. Rumor has it, it's over a thousand acres of a master plan community. Kinder Ranch is home to some of the nicest houses you can see in the far north central side. You got builders like Monticello Homes, Perry Homes, David Weekly. If you're looking for a place to raise your kids, Kinder Ranch is something that you're going to want to know about because it's designed to take your kids from kindergarten to graduating high school. Some of the pros to building a home with Monticello Homes, they use stucco and stone predominantly in brick. So if you're not a fan of the siding, check out the builder. You can still buy homes from them around that $600,000 price range. And you do have some elevation in Kinder Ranch. So depending on where you land, you might have some long range views of some hill country. Kinder Ranch is kind of like Elm Creek, what I mentioned earlier, in the sense that every community there is gated. Some communities have a guard, others just have a gate where you have to have a code or a keep up to have access to it. One of the things you might like is Kinder Ranch has lots of sidewalks and I'm talking big wide sidewalks. So you can go on a morning jog or an afternoon stroll with your kids or with your family. So the second neighborhood is a neighborhood called Champions Ridge. So cool story about Champions Ridge, my first million dollar listing happened to be in that neighborhood. It was a gorgeous home, over 6,000 square feet, all on one story on about a three quarter acres lot with super cool pool. In fact, in my lifestyle video, at the beginning of this YouTube video, you can see clips of it. It was a sick house. The other day, my sister and I were showing one of our clients a home in Champions Ridge. So I thought it'd be cool to show you a clip of it. So you can find properties like this. If you're looking for a house with the pool, and again, you want the massive homes, all kinds of builders, it feels super custom. They have something for everyone. So if you're coming from California and you want that LA flavor, you're gonna find it here. If you're coming from New York and you want that Texas size home, you're gonna find that there for sure. Champions Ridge has two neighborhoods known as Champions Ridge and Champions Ridge Estates. The estate sides are going to have bigger lots. Sometimes some lots even have over an acre. One of the things I like about Far North Central is you're only about 20 minutes from the airport and maybe 25, 30 minutes to downtown San Antonio. The third neighborhood you have to know about when moving to the Far North Central side of San Antonio is called Cibolo Canyons. Cibolo Canyons has an amazing amenity center. So if your kids love to spend time at a pool and you just want a cool place to go hang out, you have to go check it out. So what kind of lifestyle do you have in the far north central side of town? Well, I'm glad you asked. That's why I love you guys. You're an awesome audience. You can find attractions like the Vineyard Shopping Center where you'll have places like Whole Foods, Super Target, GameStop, Office Depot. If you're new to town and you're looking for furniture, you gotta go check out this place right in the Vineyard Shopping Center. It's a contemporary furniture store. I went to go visit the other day. I'm looking for couches because me and my wife are building a home that's gonna be done in October. Unfortunately, she doesn't like my style, so I'm pretty sure she's gonna end up choosing whatever goes in the house. But honestly, happy wife, happy life. I love her dearly. So whatever style she, how she ends up with, she's got a good eye. I know she's gonna make it look good. Another attraction you'll find in that far north central side is a place called TPC Parkway. It's home to places like the Alamo Draft House, Starbucks, Grimaldi's Pizza, there's so much shopping there and you're so close to it in the far north central side. You don't really have to drive far to get what you need. If you like the outdoors, the far north central has its perks too when it comes to parks. The other day I went to Panther Springs, I took a break. I just wanna go for a walk and check it out. Panther Springs Park has a dog park. It's got walking trails. So if you're looking to get some sun and you don't wanna go travel far to a far away place, just go to Panther Springs if you live in the Stone Oak area. Stay tuned because next week I'm going to be talking to you about what it's like to live in the far west side of San Antonio.